Hey, what's up guys, Koryako here, and today we're getting a package for the native tank. These little guys are known as pygmy sunfish and after a brief acclimation I'll tell you a little bit more about them and the care they require. Pygmy sunfish are nanofish classified under the genus Elasoma. There have been seven species discovered, all of which are native to the swamps and backwaters of the southeast portion of the United States. This particular species, Elasoma evergladii, are found throughout Florida and stretch upwards into the southern parts of Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina. Pygmy sunfish grow to be around an inch and a half, so they're very convenient for those who have limited tank space. A trio can be kept in an aquarium as small as 5 gallons. They prefer temps anywhere between 50 to 72 degrees and are known to be picky eaters, usually only accepting live foods. For a tank setup, I recommend a low output filter with heavy aquatic vegetation. Since I'm creating a biotope, I went with Ceratophyllum demerson to stay true to their locality and because these fish prefer fine leaf plants. Elasoma evergladii males darken up and display beautiful bright blue speckles. Now that these guys have settled in, I'm hoping to start seeing some of these blue speckles on my males real soon. The females retain their olive and tan colors with dark brown spots. They don't get that bright blue color that males do. As for temperament, they have quite the attitude. Males create territories and will chase any other male or non-gravid female who come close to their vicinity. Even the females fight. Don't let this intimidate you though. Although these skirmishes happen so quickly and appear so violent, I have yet to see any damage. And from what I've read, there rarely ever is. One thing's for sure, I'm excited to see what the future holds for this group and the biotope that I'm building. Which reminds me, I was able to get my hands on some of the tannins I've been looking for. A friend from Florida was able to source these sticks and needles from a bald cypress tree near the Everglades. If you're interested in how I clean and prepare these tannins for a biotope, let me know in the comment section. That's gonna do it for this week, guys. Thank you for sitting through another video. Um, I wanna thank you for all the support. Uh, if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you guys wanna support me, like and comment, share this with your friends. Um, let them know, Koryak was the wave. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you guys ever wanna talk fish, maybe you're setting up a tank and wanna figure out a layout or figuring out a stock for 
a certain size tank, uh, feel free to hit me up on Instagram at Corey Aqua. I respond to everybody. So, uh, yeah, just contact me there and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.